Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I have it with me the Yuangnu 35mm f2 lens. I want to share my experience using this lens in this video. Let's do this! So why do I have a Yono 35mm f2 lens? Well, originally I bought this lens for Nikon D50. I used that camera for street photography and I love a 15mm perspective. 35mm on an APS-C size image sensor on that Nikon D50, it translates to 15mm equivalent, something that I love using for my street portraits for general casual photography. And then I bought this Nikon D600. So this 35mm is a full-frame lens. When I use it on this D600 full-frame camera, it gives me the full 35mm focal length. So now I have a 35mm lens for my Nikon D600. Before I share my thoughts on this lens, let me clarify that this is a budget lens. I got this for about 180 ringgit in the used market and the lens is in very good condition. That's roughly about 30 US dollars or 40 US dollars. It's really, really cheap. I think this is the cheapest 35mm prime lens for full frame. Knowing that this is a budget lens, so I do have to lower my expectations. Spoilers alert. After I've used this lens quite extensively for my shutter therapy sessions, I'm actually impressed and this lens has surpassed my expectations. The 5mm f2 lens is surprisingly large for what it is. In comparison to the excellent Canon's EF35 f2, this lens is like 50% larger. I don't know why they have to make it this big. Maybe there's something to do with the optical formula that I'm not aware of. I don't know, I'm not an optics engineer. So I'm not going to comment on that. But I was surprised to see that this lens is so much larger than the Canon's 35mm lens. The lens build quality isn't really that good. It is made of plastic all over and if you shake the lens there's something rattling inside the lens It doesn't have image stabilization, there's no moving parts in the lens, so that rattling part does cause some concern. But anyways, I've tested the lens, it seems to work fine. Autofocus was perfect, uh, the image quality was okay, so I don't know why there's something rattling inside the lens. Other than that, I do like the minimalist design, it is in all black. There are two controls on the lens body, the manual focusing ring. The manual focusing ring is made of rubber material, maybe it's synthetic rubber, but I feel that it might dis integrate over time, it gets sticky and it peels off, I don't know, it still looks quite okay on my lens and there is that manual or autofocus switch at the side of the lens. Other than that, this lens is very straight to the point, it's very simplistic, minimalist and I think it just works. When it comes to lens handling, I have no issue using this lens on this Nikon D600. The camera is relatively so much larger than the lens, so the lens is still quite small. And there is a substantial area on the lens itself for the hand to grip. So handling is comfortable, no issue whatsoever, and the lens is still very light. The lens autofocus works really well. I've been shooting mostly in good lighting condition. I didn't bring this lens out in low light, so in abandoned sunlight, especially in tropical Malaysian sun. The autofocus was fast and mostly reliable. I did miss some shots, but I think that's due to this D600's autofocus performance, not so much on the lens. In 
Initially, I was very concerned about the optical performance of this Yono 35mm f2 lens. After all, this is a budget lens, pairing it on a full frame 24 megapixels image sensor that might be asking too much from this budget lens. The optics may not be able to resolve all the pixels on the image sensor. And boy oh boy, was I impressed with what this Yono 35mm lens can do. Shooting a wide open f2, the lens manages to resolve plenty of good details, very decent sharpness. I will not say it's super sharp or if there's anything to write home about, but the sharpness is definitely good enough. I will not hesitate to shoot wide open f2 if I have to, especially in low light situations, to gather as much light as possible or to blur off the background to isolate my subject and create that nice looking bokeh. I'll be happy with the results that I get from this f2 lens. And stopping down further to f4, f5.6, the sharpness immediately improves and you can see there's so much more details resolved the contrast is so much better it just looks so sharp and i almost forgot that i was using a 40 dollars budget lens on this nikon d600 and to me that's really impressive when it comes to technical flow control, this Yono 35mm lens is no slouch either. Yes, there is some flaws there and here. You can see distortion, the barrel distortion at the sides, the curvature, the straight lines are not perfectly straight. But the distortion is not too severe and can be easily fixed in post. Yes, there is chromatic aberration, purple fringing when you shoot wide open f2 at high contrasty areas. But again, this is not a big problem. The purple fringing can be easily fixed as well. Well, of course, if you shoot this lens against bright source of light, you can see some haze or ghosting or flare. But these issues are not too bad. If I compare this lens against even the modern lenses, some of the newer lenses from today actually perform worse than what this Yongno 35mm is doing. So there are problems there and here, but they are not too bad. And for what it is, for a $40 lens that I got, I thought it did really well. Well, If you can afford the higher grade lenses like the Nikon's own amazing Nikkor 35 f2 or a 35 f1.4 or any variants from Sigma or Tamron, more modern lenses, I gotta say these lenses definitely will perform sharper, they will probably have better technical flow control, but you Gotta remember, this is a budget lens, and I did not want to buy another 35mm lens in the first place. So spending just a little bit of money to get this lens, and it still can deliver really good results, I thought this is a steal. So if you don't intend to spend that much money, you just want to get a lens to experiment, to try out, or just want a spare lens without hurting your wallet, hey, this Yono 35mm f2, you can't go wrong with it. That's all to share about this Yono 35mm f2 prime lens for Nikon. Do you own one yourself? Do share your thoughts and experience in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed looking at my photographs or if you found my sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.